What's going on, beautiful people? It's your boy MTDH. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, yeah. Uh, today's video, as you can see from the highlight, uh, is one of the videos from a request from one of you guys. So, without further ado, let me show you guys how to do that in after after. <laughs> Without further ado, let me take you into After Effects and show you guys how to recreate just that. Okay, ciao. So now we're on to After Effects. Uh, as you can see, this is what we'll be creating today. Um, so just pay attention to this. So you can see it goes right there. There's a pause and you introduce your text and it gets back to the original footage. So here I have the main footage right here, which is this. So let's create a new composition. I'm gonna just close this. Uh, let's create a new composition and name this. Actually, let us just drag the footage into a new composition. As you can see, there's a little bit of squash to the to the uh, like the sides. As you can see it looks weird. So how you can correct that is command K or control K for those of you using Windows. So just, you see where it says pixel aspect ratio? There's something wrong there. Just change that to square pixel. So, uh, and your width instead of 1440, I'll change it to 1920. Voila. As you can see now, we now have our original footage. So, for us to get what exactly we were just showing now is let us go to any frame that you know you want to create your pause so let's say right here right uh, so what i'm gonna do now is i'm just gonna create sort of a placeholder for this exact frame now i'll export this exact frame out to photoshop then I'm gonna go um, isolate myself out of this image so that's pretty much it but let me stop talking and let's just get to it so for now I'm just gonna hit this right here it's called the marker so the marker is just sort of a place so that so you can help you mark a spot that you know that this is where you have something you want to do with it okay now that you have um you've marked you know you have your market right there so you want to go up right here to composition go to save frame as you can either choose file or you can do photoshop i like to do file um so file will just bring you to the render queue where it's already giving you the default is already by photoshop and you just have to click ok and uh on I'm going to save it into document. I already have some other older versions of it that, you know, it was sort of mistakes, but I'll just say image freeze frame, image frame mode or whatever. Okay. Then I'll render that. So now I already had it rendered. Then I want to go to image frame mode. Now I'm going to right click and open it in Photoshop. So let's wait now. Uh, what a time to be alive right okay so now when you Photoshop I'm not gonna waste too much of your time so all you just need to do now is we just want to separate myself from the background so what we can just do is our first duplicate to duplicate your layer is command J or control J in Photoshop sorry in Windows so for the purpose of this tutorial I'm not gonna go in depth on how to do that but just grab your pen tool right here or press p to bring it up and i'll just go so i'm just gonna fast forward just so you guys can okay so now that we've made our selection we'll right click and we'll click make selection 
um, my default feather uh, radius is already two. I'll still do two. So now I'll go to select and just go to inverse so that it would inverse the selection. Then I can delete whatever is around my uh, self. So just click delete on your keyboard. As you can see right there, now I already have isolated myself. So click OK, Command D to set to uh, to deselect your marquee tool. Then I open. Uh, remember, I did duplicate, so now the background is still back there. So, but the reason why you did that is because so you can have the flexibility to kind of move this around anyhow you want it. So, so, um, so now I'm just gonna go to File, Save, and OK. So then we don't need Photoshop anymore. We'll go back to After Effects and go to double click on your panel right there. Go to Document and go look for, remember what you saved it as. I'll click OK. Um, in the Import as, I'll do Composition to uh, and also retain layer sizes. So what that does is it makes sure everything as you're exporting it from Photoshop exactly how the layers have been sized. It will import all that into After Effects exactly the same way it was. So I'll push OK and I'll OK. So now it does have its own frame. So then I would come into After Effects. Don't forget that we did a mark. We did mark. A, um, a particular frame there so I'm just gonna increase so that I'm, I want to be very very precise as possible so now you want to drag this layer now let's drag it onto our comp but now because this is the frame hole that we made don't forget that now we want it to start from exactly where this holds so it will make sense now you see how this is <clears throat> remember that from the beginning your your player plays right I'm moving I'm moving I'm moving so once it gets to this then it pauses because we've already created a composition that holds all that frame and don't forget you can always chop it off so that it continues wherever you want it to continue but what I also do is on my original layer Remember that because we're trying to freeze this frame for so long and we want to make sure now that we um, we kind of cut the original layer, the original footage, sorry, so that the, the other part of it that we want it to continue from where the free frame ends, we have to now continue from there. So um, this will make sense now. So Command Shift D for you to slice your footage. So if, for example, I want my freeze frame to last to about two seconds here, I would now drag my play it because I want it to continue. So it's gonna play right here, then freeze for that long to here. But as you can see, it's still, the freeze frame still continues. So for us to get rid of that, you wanna also slice your uh, freeze frame so now command shift d then we can delete this second part so now it's gonna play pause and continue how cool was that so continuous play pause continue so this is now when you now want to get creative because the opportunity we now have now is that once this becomes a freeze frame, because this has its own composition, now we can just double click on that. Now, voila, we can now do anything that we want in this layer. Because don't forget, this layer is now by itself. I'm not by myself. So, out, undo there. So, for what I did earlier, as far as this, so what I just did was in in this freeze frame here I just implemented a new um, solid layer I'll change the color 
let's do let's do red this time i'll name it bg so now on that red i'll put it in between these two uh, layers so you can see how this is making sense and we can always add text if you want i'll name it landry you can always add text if you want change this to white change that to white don't mind me just for the purpose of this tutorial i don't want it to be too long so what we can now do is let us hide the text layer for now so what we can do now is we want this red to kind of transition into into this right so we can just go to the that red hit opacity click on the stopwatch for for your um, opacity so now let us reduce the opacity from zero so that it builds from zero to 100 but i'm gonna space it out a little bit more so we can see that slow movement and don't forget to do your easy ease in easy ease out so see that but i always like it to be a little bit more okay cool so now if we go back to the main comp so if we play see that then it goes back and we can always also fade it out so we can click okay because we want it to fade out as well to zero so now if i go to the real comp play cool huh so that's pretty much this tutorial um if you want to add pretty much anything you can add anything inside your pre-composition and that's just where all the magic happens and for these lines right here if you want to know how to do that all i just did is on this on that same um uh, uh solid layer i just went to my transition in my effects panel transition and i did uh Venetian blind so double click on that i'll increase the uh transition comp complexation completion completion don't mind me i said completion so as you can see now it draws all the lines and you can always change the the angle you can always increase the width you can reduce it and you also what i did again was i added top some turbulence to it turbulent displacement turbulent displacement as you can see you know gives it this kind of swirly uh then i did the evolution and i animated it to let's see animated it like that and do the easy is and easy out i mean this isn't necessary it's just however you want it but i'm just showing you what i did so now if i play it you can see now the how to bring this back a lot so now if i go to my main comp press play it reveals see that then it goes out voila so don't forget we also did have a text so maybe if i wanted my text to now come in here i could do the opacity as well p and go back to zero so if i want the line rate to appear right there so let's even say i wanted line rate to be like this like all big in the frame or even here let me know like Larry so it will go and then go out and I can also get Larry to out of the paste and reduce the opacity so now if I go to the main comp right so that's pretty much that's pretty much how to get that done um, so just for the sake of the tutorial, that's why everything looks a little bit 
uh, for the sake of the tutorial is why everything looks a little bit funky but you get the idea which is the point of this tutorial and um, I would link this footage in the description below so if you want to use this footage you can always download it and um, yeah uh, make sure you like subscribe and turn on your notifications so that whenever a new um, tutorial has been uploaded you know and please do me a favor uh, whatever your next tutorial request is put it down on the description below and um, I'll be sure to um, to do whatever it is that I can like I said this was a tutorial request uh, shout out to Zepi Chinedu and uh, yeah I'll catch you guys in the next video ciao ciao <laughs>